Stop a moment. I can help you fade away. Captain Kenway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powderheads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat, Ruggiero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Understood. Will you send this to England for me? Aye. The ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline Scott Kenway, Hawkins Lane, Bristol. I relinquished the tools of my trade to play the viola. Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggerio Ferraro. Aye, Mr. Ferraro. Not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to my brief tenure as Governor of the Bahamas. For under my watch, no less than 300 of our pirates took the King's pardon and swore fealty to the crown. 
yet. For all my successes, His Majesty has seen fit to sack me and call me home to England. Brilliant. God bless the fucker. Therefore, hooray. Hooray for the ignoble and ignorant prigs who rule the world with sticks up their asses. Hooray. Damn shame about your dismissal, Rogers. You had my confidence. I still do. Well, it's not a done. By any means. When the king hears my complaints, I'm sure he'll come to a more sensible conclusion. That's not the law. Of the city and how is Mrs. Rogers these days? I haven't the faintest idea, and I don't intend to inquire any further. We separated almost five years ago, and both our lives have been the better for it. Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be more candid later, when the remainder of my reason has left. You are Mr. Ferraro, I take it. I do Good day, adore friend. your frippery. Carry on. Such elegance and color. Thank you for hosting my little send-offs. I have been too rambunctious. Uh, a little free with your speech today, but nothing to be hanged for. Why then, how's this? Soon, all the monarchies of the world will be obsolete, and when that day comes, men like Torres and myself will reveal ourselves as the architects of their army. Oh, Christ, Rogers! You're an old one. Hey, aren't you? Your lecture shames you, sir. Any regrets, Captain Rogers? Any business left unfinished? Yes. That I paid for Nassar's restoration with my own money. Fully three-fourths of the improvements made to that bloody island, I funded by my private fortune. And if that doesn't spell out my commitment, then the king is a fool. I brought those brutes in Nassau to heal, by God, and this is the thanks I get. Unbelievable. Damn right you did, Rogers. And if it's a character witness you need back home, I'd gladly tender a letter in support. I know you. Hmm. Ah, it's not important. There are better ways to waste my time. 
Bridge. Hey, aren't you? No. Please, no, don't kill me! He was a privateer once. How is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world? You couldn't possibly understand my motives, cretin! You have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine. But I do understand. I've seen the observatory, and I know its power. You'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage. Yes. And yet all for a greater purpose. To ensure justice. To snuff out lies and to seek truth. There's no man on earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. <laughs> Here at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad bastard. Our best sources say Principe. Not what I came to the new world for. Stop you. It's done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa. <laughs> 